Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a paper towel and a little bit of black acrylic. And I just want to paint, well, most of this canvas black. This gives us a very dark base coat to work with. We'll let it completely dry and then we'll go over it with oils with the two inch brush and a little bit of blue and white. We can come right up here and drop in a little bit of sky. Now let me explain, I put, I put a clear medium over the entire canvas after it had dried. And then on top of that, I put a little bit of brown and green. But that's all you have to do to prep this canvas. It's not much and you'll have a very effective painting. With a little bit of brown on the two inch brush, we can use the brush vertically up and down here to tap in some trees. Actually, I'm using the side of the brush mostly and you get a very fuzzy tree effect. They look very far away. Do keep them light, because that'll also, it'll help, them, help make them look far away. Now I've added a little bit of black to that same color. And I think I want another tree line right here. So I'm working in layers and I'm getting closer and closer to the foreground, but I'm separating these layers by color. It's the only reason this looks like a separate tree or tree line here is because it's dark. You need that contrast. With the two inch brush and a little bit of white and brown and black, something to kind of dirty it up so it's not so bright. And right in here, I want a little misty layer. So we'll just work it around and around. But I don't want it very distinct. I just want it, I want it soft today. There we go. Use the corner of the brush. And I really didn't load any color on the other side, so you can even flip the brush around and give it a little blend. Very easy. With the fan brush and some green and black, I want to make some evergreen trees. And maybe these, these are a little closer, so they're more distinct. This time I'll use the fan brush and work them back and forth. There we go. Now it's very, very important to leave this mist. Don't destroy all your mist because that's what will separate each layer. That's what separates these trees from the background trees. So don't cover it all up. Leave some of it showing through. With a little blue and white on the two inch brush. Maybe we want a stream or a very slow river in our painting today. Now remember, I have brown and green down here already so that when I, when I go to pull down, it mixes and I get a lot of nice things very easily. All these color variations in here. Maybe it comes down like that. Then turn the brush and blend with some yellow and green on the two inch brush. Let's make some grass. So we'll just tap, tap very lightly. Remember, we, we have all that dark paint there. So we don't even have to bother with an underpainting. It's already there. Maybe this is kind of where the light's coming down. And as it comes out, it'll get a little darker. Add a little bit of that black to the brush. Now with the fan brush and some of that same green color, we can drop on a little bit of highlight to some of these trees. Look at how that makes them pop right out. Don't cover up all that nice dark. In fact, leave most of the dark and then very dark down there at the bottom. There we go, work it back and forth. 
thinking about all your limb shapes as you're doing this. And it's all right if some are darker and then some are a little brighter. Mix it up a little. You can even grab some red. That'll kind of dull the green down even more. Change it up. Now I'll load the fan brush up with some black and brown. And right here, I think we need a big rock. Decide where you want it and drop it in. Maybe I'll show you how to do a fan or the rock with the fan brush today. It'll be something new and I think you'll find it very interesting. And that one went in so good. We should have another one right here. Just drop in a nice basic shape and fill it in. Now we can come back with a little lighter color. Really the same color, I added a little bit of white. And let's, let's highlight the top of this rock. There we go. If the paint doesn't want to come off, just thin it down a little. It should slide on very easily. Now maybe we should make some bushes with the fan brush. We've been using the fan brush a lot. We'll just push in some bushes with it too. You can do a lot of things with a fan brush. Great little brush. And this is really mostly just green, green and brown, a little touch of white to lighten it up. With a little bit of blue and white and black, we can rub in some highlights on the water. Try to keep these very flat. In fact, maybe, maybe this is moving water. This is a little stream or something. And if it's a stream, there would be a little waterfall in it. I think it should be right there. So just drop it in and blend it back. It hits down here and splashes against some rocks underwater and keeps on moving. And then it, it splashes over again. Now I'll pull the filbert brush through a little bit of black, flip it over, and pull it through some light color. And now, with that, we can make some rocks. And you'll see you get the shadow and highlight in one little stroke. Very easy. Just drop it on. Now I'll load the two inch brush with a little bit of black and brown and green. And I wanna add a big tree right here. But maybe the limbs are just hanging down into the scene. We don't see the whole tree. There we go. It's already dark there, so I'm just looking for a little bit of texture. Maybe we'll push up right here to create some land and some bushes right there. Now I'll tap a one inch brush through some yellow and red and black. Just looking for a very dark green color. And now we can tap on some highlight. Very, very lightly. Leave a lot of that dark. There we go. Just tap them right on. Using mostly the corner of the brush. Working layers, dropping down, and then doing the next limb. Don't highlight the whole thing. You'll lose it. If it's all light, then it'll be so flat. I, I want a lot of depth in my tree. With the script liner and a little bit of brown, we can add in a few little tree trunks back in here, but not too much, only a few. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to look at my website and also my DVDs for sale. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.